This is a video showing how to capture the positions of two objects within video analysis. First, I'll create a video analysis screen by double clicking. I'll open my movie file. I'll select my collision movie. So now I have my carts here. I'm going to use my calipers here to measure the leading edge of the cart here. And by using a ruler, I was able to determine that this is as a distance of 0 0.167 millimeters. So that's now set. Prior to recording the video, I uh, placed a marker on the cart that would uh, have high visibility to make it easier to select these data points during data analysis. Next, I'm going to use the frame advance on the playback here to advance to the frame just after motion has started. So I'll go ahead and click on this until we can get things moving here. Okay, so we can see that the, the cart has moved for two frames, so I'll back up one, two, until the frame just before it starts to move. So I will now uh, click on the overlay of this to um, start the recording of the positions. One other thing I can do here to, to help disambiguate which object I'm associating, associating this with is I'm going to double click on the data summary. I'm going to go to the uh, clapper. And then under Video Analysis Object 1, I'll double click here, and I'll call this Blue Cart. I'll close the drawer down again. And using this marker here, I'm going to click on that. Automatically, the software will advance to the next frame. And I'll repeat this process for each of the frames for which this is visible. Okay, so we're at the end of the, the video for this object. So now we're going to use our scrubber to roll it back to the beginning. And then we'll repeat the same process for um, advancing to where we see our first data point displayed for the blue cart. Okay, so we'll back it up here. So from this point, we can start data acquisition on the other object. But before we can do that, we've actually got to create a new object. And we'll do that up here by creating a new tracked object. We now have object two. We'll go to data summary again. And under object two, we'll double click down here and we can call this red cart. We'll close the data summary drawer again. And now we can start the, the data capture process. Capture that first data point here. And this is gonna be rather dull here for a moment because well, our second cart is just not moving for a while. And now we can go ahead and track the motion of this cart as it accelerates off the screen, or rather, as it moves off the screen. OK, and now we have um, the uh, data for both of these carts at the same time. The next step here is to display the data in a new uh, display. So we can do that, create a new page double click on graph, and then for the blue cart, we can display the X position. We'll click on this as well, add similar measurement, and we can add the X position for the red cart as well. 